Epicor Eclipse Simplified, where every topic is broken down into a bite-sized chunk. Let's dive in. The first thing you'll notice is that your view may not look like my view. That's okay. You can click on the spyglass and you can change your view to another view. However, your Eclipse IT team can build custom views in order entry view maintenance. So if you think of new fields in order entry that would make your job easier, it never hurts to ask them if it's possible to create a new view. This unit price field has a built-in calculator. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. The gross profit field is also editable. You can change your price based on margin. If you don't like your custom calculations and you want to return to the original calculation for the sales order, you type C and enter. You'll notice there's an asterisk in the unit price field. There's actually multiple symbols in the system that'll help you understand how the unit is being priced. Here are my top five favorite ways to search. Pause it, take a screenshot if you want to. You notice this has an automatic comment tied to it. You go to product maintenance, you'll see that that's because it's a non-stock product. In the control maintenance file, all non-stock products can have a specific message of your company's choosing. If you click on comment when the line is highlighted, the comment will append to that specific item, just like this one. However, if you do a comment on a blank line, here they will print out on every generation of the ticket. I put a red line between the different types of comments so that you can see. Notice that the comment that had its own line prints off on generation one and generation two of that ticket. And notice that the comments tied to the specific items only showed up on the generations where that specific item existed. To get rid of a line, you could zero the quantity, but you'll notice that comments have no quantity. For that, you need a shortcut key press. Alt-Insert adds a line, Alt-Delete removes a line. If you need to change the delivery address to the same customer, you just click edit and only change the address. Notice you can copy it to multiple shipments or keep it just for this generation. If you need to change the customer who you're selling to, if you type this up for the wrong customer, you do have the option when you change the customer name in this top field to reprice all items to that customer. So if you've already quoted the price, you can say no. If you have not, then obviously you will say yes. Notice how the quantity says one each. Each is the default. But if you go to the specific item, you can see this one has a each quantity and a box quantity. You can either say 12 each, or you could type one box. Either way, the system will pull 12 of these items. You'll notice I have a bunch of icons up here that correspond to the menu paths. Those are all customizable, but they can also be set in a template by your company. Go to user tools and customize toolbar. From there, you can add menu paths and change the name, the image, and the mnemonic. You'll notice in the order summary on the left that we have multiple generations. I like to go to options and turn on highlight different generations so that I can see which items go with which generation. You'll notice price branch and ship branch down here. You can change the ship branch by edit order ship branch. You can change the price branch by the header. What if the customer wants to know the subtotal for the tape? And what if we don't want him to see the individual prices for the tape? If you hold down alternate and insert right here, it'll insert a blank line above where the cursor was. You have to have that to go to line item and subtotal. You'll notice we're going to sum back to the last subtotal, which in this case is the top of the order. We can change the name and show item price is set to no. What's the customer see? The close in order, I recommend F12. You can also hit the X. If the customer's at the counter, you'll need to take a signature to finalize the order. You can do that through close counter order or through the will call order queue, where you can close one at a time or select multiple rows and close multiple orders at once. If you earn a ticket with invoices and in multiple generations, go to file and order shipment details. From there, you can see what's been shipped and the status of every generation. 
at several points with an eclipse, if you type two periods and hit enter, it'll bring up the last thing you're working on, inventory inquiry, product maintenance, and sales order entry. You'll notice I was just working on this ticket and the customer already picked it up, it's an invoice, but he wants to add something to this ticket. To do that, you go to the body and add a ship date. Add your item. And now you're ready with another generation. If you have a formula and basis field, here are the equations you can run from there. So for example, list less 50%, or you can change your basis to vendor cost and say you want to make 25 points of margin on that cost. Please do note our disclaimer and do not get yourself into trouble by trying to do something you have not been trained to do by your own company. We always encourage you to ask questions early and often.